Welcome back people to the Reggae Boys Career Mode. This is season seven, episode one. It is the opener. We're in a brand new season now. And before we get started, I'm just gonna tell you a couple of things. We will at least have season seven and season eight. If I don't by any chance win either the Premier League or the Champions League in season, by season eight, I will probably do an extra season in season nine to wrap things up, to try and wrap things up because I do want to, you know, win the biggest awards with these players, you see, gr grown attached to them, and I'm pretty sure some of you have as well. Um, other things are, now I think I mentioned last season, but we're not going to train all the players that went to an 80 now, so that's Rose, Daly, Vassal, Garrick and Olga won't be trained. We're going to focus on the three players in the starting 11, that's the left back Olga, McClearly, at that centre back McCleary and the midfielder McCleary. We're going to focus on them a lot because I want them to catch up to pace to the rest of the team, you see. Um, so that's one thing there. So we will get into the training sessions now and I'll show you what, we, what we're working with. So this is the first training session of the players. We're going to have Orgel in the two left back positions. Um, well, Orgel. <laughs> The left back all girl on two training sessions. Our left mid, who we play as a centre mid, we clearly on two training sessions, and then the centre back clearly uh, on one training session. That is now going to be the new number one. So if I delete everything before, save that. Well, wow, two F's have started off. That's great, isn't it? Right. Cue the drum roll because we're going to see how much money we've got. Well, you're going to see. I've or I already know it what it's going to be. Can you tell by my face? Look on the screen, 99 million. There we go, 99 million transfer budget. We can finally get the player we want. One thing I do think is very odd though, the out objectives this season is finishing mid table. It's very, very weird. Our objectives are a lot lower this season, but we don't have any Champions League or, or Europa League. So I thought that was really weird. I mean, I'm gonna try and go for some players now. And then I'm going to try and win the title. That's what's going to happen, boys. So, without further ado, Leon Bailey. I don't care if I have to spend my whole budget on him. We're going in. We're getting the one talisman they've got. Right, so a transfer offer of, we'll start it at 60 million. How about that? The one 91 million and a 5% sell on clause. We'll remove that sell on clause. And we will say 70 million. Okay, they've moved up to. 92 let's say 82 million final offer what will you say to that and they accept we're gonna buy him for 82 million right let's see if we can sort out his contract here i can't believe we're actually it took seven seasons but we're actually gonna get him of course you're gonna be a crucial player there's nobody on that left side that can you know contain you he wants a four year deal we're giving that five year deal we're locking him down boys absolutely locking him down no release cause i like that too Upset. Oh, look at look at that wage cut he wants. He ain't getting that appearance bonus, but that wage cut, I'm liking that. Yep. We finally got our player. We've got the main man, Leon Bailey. Let's put him into this team straight away. Reed, you've been a good servant for us, but now we've got the proper le Jamaican left winger up in here. Look, look at his stats, man. 97 pace, 80 shooting, 81 passing, 91 dribbling. He's got 80 penalties as well. He's got 83 free kick accuracy, 88 long shots, and 79 shot power so he can take all set pieces. That's what I needed as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into rolls. He can take the short free kick, long free kick, and penalties. Right, the team is looking a lot better just with him in it. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to take Burke out of that second team and put Reed in. What should I do? Yeah, put Reed in because he's higher rated in the simulation. I'm also going to transfer this a couple of the players or try to. I'll show you who's retiring this season as well. His contract's ending in 12 months so what we'll do is we'll give him a new contract that's for sure. How much money is he on at the moment? He's on 25 grand. We'll start this at 30 so what he says. 32 year deal. Let's give him a three year deal. And that will surely put him here to the end of the career mode and we won't have to worry about a goalkeeper. Important, of course, yes. 
Wants to drop his role from Kucho even though he's still the only goalkeeper here. Let's give him a three year contract. Hopefully he stays till he's 38. Yet no release clause, I like that. 30k a week, nice increase for you. And yet sips. There we go, right, so his contract sorted out. Lawrence's contract's running down as well. How much money is he on? He's on 22 grand. I'll leave it the same for him because he has gone down on overall. So 22 grand, two years. We'll renegotiate that so he can try and sign a three year deal. Rotation. Uh, yes, he wants a new role as a rotation player. Yeah, I like that. Because he knows all goals now ahead of him. Three year deal. Disregard that release clause and let's drop his wage, let's give him 20k a week and he accepts. Marco Hector's contract's get oh everybody's contract is running out, man. Okay, he's on he needs to get dropped in wages to be honest. I'll give him start at 23. He wants 24 two years. We'll renegotiate this. Uh, right, we'll give him a rotation squad role now. He wants importance still. Okay, well you're not going to get there. Give him a four year deal, see if it accepts that. Two years or let's say three. It's fine with him. Disregard that release clause. And then we will give him 22k a week. I wasn't thinking about that. Fair offer. We're saving some money as well by cutting their wages. So Fisher is now retiring at the end of the season. That's good to see. So we're going to look out for his regen next season because we're going to need it. We'll need a right back, that's for sure, because he's not cutting the mustard anymore. But so we will renew Powell's contract because he's just running out as well. 12 months left on that. We'll start it at 22k for him. No, let's say 21 actually. No, it was 22k, three year deal. Let's negotiate and give him a four year deal. Important. It's fine with me. Still our number one right back at the moment. Five year deal. Let's see if he accepts that. No, three, so we will go to four. Disregard that release clause. And we will give him 21,000. There we go. Oh, wow. Remove the bonus. You can keep your signing bonus. Whatever. 22 grand. Right, so he's sorted out. Peter D. Vass is now 85 overall. I think he went up at the end of last season. His stats are still growing very, very slightly, but look at that. The only reds he's got is his penalties and volleys. Here we go, Johnson's retiring at the end of the season as well. 12 months left on his contract. Brown has got 12 months left on his contract, but he's not retiring, so we'll try and negotiate with him. He's on 17 grand at the moment. We will start it at the same. 17, two years, sporadic. Now, he needs to sign that three year deal. <clears throat> I'm not playing with him. Oh gosh, I gave him too much of a high role, rotation. You know what, end negotiation, because I don't want him complaining, so I will go back to him and give him a new contract later. Garrick has submitted a transfer request, so we've got to make sure we do everything to keep him. Um, all goes back from his loan. He might get training sessions in the second slot. I've just realised as well, obviously I've put him on a lot more money than anybody else, so but we might get that stupid email again in a couple of days' time. Reed is retiring at the end of the season as well. Look out for his regen next year. Um, Nicholson is 28 and 75. I think I will sell him. I've got a plan, so I'm putting him on the transfer list. Um, Dalian Rose, he's still got that transfer list glitch on him because he won't let me take it off. And Dalian Rose are 80 rated, 28 and 26 respectively years old. Williams is going to get more training sessions this year as well. He's still got a sporadic role. And Kimo Roof is retiring at the end of the season, but I've just transferred this to him. Hopefully someone will want to buy him. Because I, I do have a plan, you see? Let's advance a couple of days and see what's popping. Okay, so there was going to give us about 64 million. And they increase it to 99. I think that's because we got far in the Champions League. And it's a good job they did increase it because I wouldn't have been able to fall Bailey for 65. Maybe if I sold like three players, but I don't know if I can sell them. He's asking to leave again, Garrick. I am not letting him go anywhere. And Nicholson says he's glad that we're gonna sell him. Right, I've got these two strikers I want on my shortlist. Unfortunately, the name pool is really jacked up. Right, so we've got all girl here, another all girl, so that would be three in the team at that point. No, that would be four in the team at that point, actually. Because that guy's come back off loan, it was called all girl. 
and we've got another Williams and that would be three of them in the team. <laughs> right, I definitely want Williams so we'll go in for him first. He's 74 rated, he has grown nicely and he's 24 years old so I think he could be a decent backup and he's quite fast as well. Decent backup for Rose. It will offer... Hold on. If we can play a swap and give them Kimar Lawrence, would well, they want him Kimar Roof? They want Kimar Roof? And they want that much as well, no? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We'll give you Kimar Roof in three minutes. That's fair. We'll give him Kimar Roof in four million. I think that's more than fair, to be honest. We need some time. Well, I'm going to come back and say 4 million again then with Kima. And then we can get Jamil Orgel here. Who's got good skill moves and a weak foot. It's the only reason really why, why I want him. For chunk change. We'll offer them 50 grand. Do want 67? Uh, just to be petty, I'll say at 50. 54. Just to be really petty. I'll say at 50. <laughs> and the upset, there we go. Now let's negotiate a wage with this old girl here. He wants prospect, which is more than fine with me. Let's give him a five year deal, disregard that release clause. And he wants he wants a massive wage increase, doesn't he? More than double his wages for being that trash. I've signed him anyway. We can't expect to get any game time around here, but maybe he'll get some training sessions later on, we won't know. Right, one thing I will go do as well before I forget is I will edit the manager and you will see what he looks like in a bit. Here we go, so this is what the manager is going to look like this season. Bro, we got money now. Well, we had money up until we brought Leon Bailey in. Yo, he thought, you know what, I'm going to be looking fresh again. We got money. I'm going to be getting the artists in the club and I'm going to be looking like, yo, I'm the business. So he's got the jacket on here. He's got the nice red trainers. He's had a shave as well, got rid of the beard on this side, just going for that fresh look. Look at that, look at that fedora. Is it called a fedora? No, it's a trilby. Look at the trilby as well. I'm liking the way he's looking this season. So, Trevor, well done to you, sir. Right. Okay, so the one 6.5 million and Kimo Roof. We'll say 4 million. Yo, he's looking at him like, yo. Yo, you looking fresh, man. I wish I could look like that. But I ain't got the style that you've got. 4 million, Kimo Roof. Six point, did they go up? I swear they just went up, you know. Okay, this isn't going to go anywhere, so I'm going to keep on putting 4 million. They must think that I won't naturally just go in. Okay, I'll go in for him with money then in a couple of weeks. With hard, cold cash. Because I'm pretty sure I could get him for less than 6.5 million without Kimo Roof. They're trying to rob me. The board is telling us nice work. Yes. Right, so we're going to play here. Oh my gosh, did I just play the second team? What was I playing at? Why did I just play the second team? What we're going to do, we're going to fix the squad numbers as well. Orgel now will be number four. Yeah, I'm sorry Kimar Lawrence, but this is a new left back. He's number four now. McCleary will be number five. And our centre mid McCleary will now be number... Who did he take over from Johnson? Number six. And... The main man, Leon Bailey, will now be number 11. Right, fire news up next. Playing against them with the first team, we won 2 1. Garrick scored and Vassal, or hopefully that bumps up Garrick's morale a little bit more. We've got a loan offer for Burke here. We will reject that. Oh, shall I send him out on loan actually? Let's accept that. Let's not try and not think about Burke this season. Now that all goes back, we'll put the training into him. He rejected the long move though, so that's great. Simming with the first team against Sassolo, I think that's how you say the name, and we drew 1-1. One, one. Orgel did get injured though, hopefully he's not out for long. I don't know if we're through to the semis. We are through to the semis against Torino. He's out for four days only, so that's good. Um, what I'll do is I'll um, create another training session. The training session I've already created, we will give them two weeks of training and then this training session we'll give them one week and then two weeks, one week will work like that because I really want these players in my starting lineup to be a lot better than what they actually are currently. So the other people will put in these parts, Williams, Orgel, 
Rose and who should I train between these two? I'll train this Williams here. I'll put him on that because that's going to improve his finishing header in shot power and volleys. And his, his header in volleys is pretty bad so that's going to be the new number two. And we've got an A as well, that's a good start. Get more of those. Transfer offer for Nicholson. Stoke have come in, 5.2. Reject, simply because I don't want to send him to a rival or somebody in the league. I want him to go abroad. I don't want him to come back and haunt us, that's for sure. Right, so we're going to play against Torino. Williams steps in for Orgel being injured. We lost 2-1, but I don't care. We've got the money we need, so tournament prize money here, 2.5. 2.25, I think that was. So we now have 18 million. We will go back in for that player now without Kimar Roof and see how much we can buy him for. We'll start it off at 5 million. The one 8.6, okay. Now we'll go up to 6 million. And now we'll stay strong at that 6 million. They dropped, they dropped 600,000, but they're going to have to drop some more with 2 million a party. We're going to take, okay, take some time. I'll come back and say the same thing. Look at that, 7.9 and a 5% sell-on clause. No, you will take this 6 million with no percent sell-on clause. Remove that 6 million, final offer, take it. You know what, just for you to stop being annoying, take 7 million. There, so I've only got him for 500,000 more than what I would have if I put Kimo Roof in the deal because I wanted 6.5 originally. He wants a sporadic role, I like that. He knows he's not getting ahead of roles, that's why. Five year deal. Look at that, he tried to sneak in that release clause, hell no. Mm -mm. It was a low release clause as well. Well, you're not getting that 10 appearances. Submit the offer at 24,000. He wants 25,000. It's fine with me. There we go, we've got another striker. But we are trying to sell a bunch of strikers now, to be honest. Because we've got more than enough. So, I'll fix up the bench now. Alright, these are our three backup strikers. Williams, Orgel, and the other Williams. <laughs> They all can play a part there. Johnson on the bench, Lawrence, Hector and Brown. And we are trying to sell Nicholson and Ruth. Reed can be a backup left winger. Williams in the starting 11 for the second team. Leipzig are coming for Garrick. Rejecting the offer. I don't want him going nowhere. You know, you know me. We've got a transfer offer for from Benfica for Nicholson, exactly what I wanted. Let's try and get the most money out of him. Because I want him to go abroad. And I don't think Benfica is someone we'd face in the Champions League, so he can go over there for sure. I'd like six and a half million for him. And they accept that straight away. Uh, sign the contract over there. I'm pretty sure they, they wouldn't offer you a wage cut over there. So take it. Oh, no, I don't like this. Jordan Garrick's name come up. They're telling us to look for an appropriate buyer for Jordan Garrick. I'm not going to though. I want the season to start. It can go straight into the... I don't like all these messages. What's all these messages about? Okay, Nicholson's been sold. We've got a loan off of here for Michael Rose. We will block that. He will be a starter in our second team, I think. So, we don't want to loan him away that's for sure we've got another transfer offer for Gary here from Bayern we will reject that I just want the season to start so I can put him in and, and he'll be okay now the centre back McLean has just gone up to a 74 how did they get so much money to put in this offer for Gary no he's not going anywhere <laughs> they're, they're that Spanish team aren't they now Bournemouth are trying to buy him no definitely not from Bournemouth oh, stop putting Hoffenheim are trying to buy him now reject Duck. Just all I need him to do is play like six games in a row and he should be happy. So we've got Everton to start the... Didn't we have Everton last season as well? To start the career mode off. With Seville trying to buy him. <laughs> it's like every day now there's a new offer for him. Let's just get to this first game, man. Okay, one day went by when no one tried... Two days went by when no one tried to buy him. Now Leverkusen are trying to buy him. Probably because they lost Leon Bailey to us reject. The one who replaced one Jamaican with another. Um... We've got an offer for, for Romeo McClearly. Hell no. Reject that straight away. Lawrence is asking to play. I don't know why. He's, he knows what his role is now. He's a sporadic player or a squad rotation. 
will attend the press conference here against Everton. Can the team avoid finishing in a low position? The squad is capable, especially with our new signings. Can Williams fill the gap hole? Well, not this Williams, but the other one can. He has the qualities needed, so I'll say that and make him more happy. Will you sell some players in the end of the transfer window? We're building a winning team. Yes, we will. Right, let's get into this Everton game. Try and get Garrick hat-trick so he gets happy. Because I can't afford him to be miserable. Oh, we put Reed on the bench, actually, for all go. Right, we can finally see how Leon Bailey plays on his left-hand side here. Oh, after seven seasons, it's what I deserve. I know that for sure. Right, let's get this going, man. Winner, Connolly. Asia. Rice into Sisto. Back into Rice. Puts down the through ball there. Gurry puts that over the top. Is that Jordan Ibe? Yes, it is. Connolly into Ibe. Declan Rice. Quinner. I don't like how much possession they've got here. Right, get that out. Alright. He's offside anyway. And here he is. Yeah, it's obviously a position. Dally puts that through to the other Mikel. He's a Dally. Rolls. Puts that through to Vassal. Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey turns on a dime, shoots. Oh! I was aiming for a far corner on that. That would have been an amazing debut goal, to be honest. He really turned well there, Gory. Jordan Ibe. Gory. Declan Rice. Nice interception from McCleary there. Let's get this out. Dally. Puts it through to Rolls. Rolls puts it into Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey turns on the dime again. Oh, his agility is so well done. Oh, yes, Bailey. Bailey. Bailey, oh, the, the blocking his shots, man. But I like the way he's moving at the moment. He's moving silky smooth, man. Nice interception there from Bailey. There we go, Rolls. Rolls is back at it again. Scores on the opening day. That was a nice pass from, I think that was Vassal. I'm not entirely sure who that was. Or it was either Vassal or McClearly. Who, who is this? Vassal, isn't it? And then he just shot first time, straight past the goalkeeper, couldn't react quick enough. Declan Rice puts that over the top there. Oh, the AI came in and took that away from me there. I appreciate it. We've had a lot of possession since I've scored. Oh, that was too close for my liking. Okay, that didn't work out. Go on, Russell. Into Bailey. Bailey turns his man well. Puts it into Vassal. Oh. Bailey! Oh! Vassal just couldn't shrug off the man there. That was the problem. Into Vassal. Rolls turns his man well. Rolls going to take a shot here. Oh, I wanted it to be more in the corner. Bailey's got the ball. Right, Bailey's got the pace on everybody here. I really like how Bailey plays, man. Vassal's going to shoot from range and it gets blocked. Leon Bailey's agility is just, it's looking fine at the moment, man. Come on, Garrick. I know you want to leave, but you can play better than that. Connolly. Declan Rice. Sisto. Powell. Nice interception from Powell in. Nice back heel pass. Vassal. Vassal. There we go. That's that 89 finishing coming into play there. What a back heel pass from Rose that was. Yes, man. There we go. Look at his back heel pass here. So, look at the strength he puts onto that as well. Yes. Need you to score more this season. Winner. Connolly. Into Jordan Ibe. Note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. 
Everton, Connolly. They'll be facing Fulham away from home. Corey. Yeah, a lot of John Bailey's doing that defensive work there. Puts that over the top. Oh wow. A substitute. Gary, what was he playing that man? There we go. McCleary. in the Premier League. And you can join us on EA Sports for that match. Pal. Well, movement in the transfer market. Man Puts that over the top there. In to get him, Into see stuff. Well, you can understand when you see him. Wow. Wow. I don't know how he managed to pass it into Quinner there, though. And Everton have got a corner. Well, now got Come on, man. You're playing like trash on purpose, aren't you? Because you want to leave. Lead. They don't think it's really being threatened. Quinner. The passing's in front of them. Nice block there from Vassal. Really well done. Great defensive duties. There we go. Someone run down this side. I wasn't even meant for him. Come on, pal. You could put down a pass better than that. Used the possession so ruthlessly at times. It's been a joy to win. Nice interception from McLeary there. Now Bailey. Bailey. They're really working the opposition. Clever ball. Bailey. Oh, the, the keeper was positioned really well there. Really, really well. That could have been a debut goal for him. But he doesn't get it there. Rose. Rose. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I probably should have passed to Bailey to be honest, but I was, I was feeding Rose when he turned his man there. This guy is just big and tall and strong. I'm fed up with him, man. Corner swung in. Dealt with the danger. Bailey. Bailey. Because they know he can dribble it here. Bailey. Very standing at a critical moment here. Bailey's had a really good game. He hasn't scored, but I've been impressed. He's just about to put that through as well. Again, I forgot to bring on my subs. Nobody marking him in the centre. Wow. <laughs> That's our clean sheet gun. <clears throat> wow, we had 10 shots and 9 of them were on target. We, act we absolutely peppered them. And we only won 2 1. Ooh. Right, um, Gary's morale's now content. He deserves all the praise. I'm just going to try and max out his morale here. How do you improve defensive? Um, no more improvements required. Were you concerned about the last goal Everton scored? I had no concerns. Lawrence here says he was disappointed not to play. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep working hard. Manchester United are trying to buy Garrick. How about no? Oh, big game against Chelsea now. We'll use this episode. Use this. Um, we'll use this game to end the episode as well. They completely destroyed us towards the end of last season. So if we can get a win here, I'd be very happy with that. Just gonna make sure Under doesn't completely do me dirty again, man. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. We've got some really good players out there. And oh, I thought that was going to get to him. Winners, some goal scorers down on that pitch. Oh gosh, not under. Not again. <laughs> Jonathan David. He's a beast as well, to be honest. They spread it out Jonathan widely. David. Chance Passes that back there. Into this attack. And under. The Puts that into David. Edge of the box. Oh, did not like that. What the hell was Rose doing? All he had to do was carry on running through the centre. He's completely messed that up. He's going to get onto that, isn't he? Absolutely knew it. As if he got onto that. This guy, man. We clearly bought there. Can go in from here. That's a great interception. Wow. Wow, Danny. Here's the Chelsea lineup. In goal, Kevin. Leon Bailey. Leon Goretzka starts. Leon Bailey. A great chance to go in front. Oh my gosh, who was <laughs> 
this guy was running like the steam train, man. Jonathan David. Nice interception by Vassal. Rolls. 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 There we go. After he's been fouled as well. Man was like, get off me. Get off me. Rolls. There again. Look how he's been fouled here. Look at that. All that shirt pulling. Man was like, mm-mm. I'm the boss, man. Goretzka. The Celso smashes that at the goalkeeper. Looking that straight at him. Nice punch out from Blake. Better get up quick time though, because he got the ball back. How did Vassal just let, the, let him take that over his head though, man? That's not a foul. Come on, ref. Yes, Bailey. When they do nick the ball on the turnover to go for the throw to make Go on, Leon Bailey. With his skill, here's a chance Bailey. Have a run at goal and take the opportunity. Oh, Romero, man. It's a bit of a hit to cut out the pass. I'm in time. This is so if that went in, I would have had some serious questions because my defender was in front of it and the goalkeeper had a clear sight of it. And in it goes. Go on, Dali. No, why would you? Why would you blow the whistle from that? Oh my gosh! Under's running through here. Maybe the cross. Not under, man. Puts down the cross there. Blake comes out and he does well. Get up, Blake. Goretzka. Goretzka. Puts that through to under. Back into Goretzka. Under again. Puts down the cross there. Oh, was out of position there? Oh, that was a, that was probably a penalty because I did touch him and didn't touch any of the ball. How are they just flicking it over my head like it's nothing? Look at this! Every chance they get, they're flicking this over my head. Vassal puts it through to Leon Bailey. Go on, Bailey. Oh my gosh, I should have just stopped the ball. I tried to do a roulette there, didn't work out. Under. Nice interception from Orgel. Bailey puts that through to Rose. Back heels that. Bang! Oh, beautiful play between Dali and Rose. Again. Again. Beautiful play. Look at this back heel from Dali there. Knew exactly where Rolls was running into. Three goals in the Premier League already in his first two games. That's it. Running through here. Running through with intent as well. Mendy. Drops a shoulder there. Vassal does intercept that, but he's got it back. Puts down an early cross. Why is there nobody marking him? Why was it? Why was it just leaving Goretzka open? Oh, come on, man! You out of all players, you just do not leave him open. This should have been an easy 2-0 up at the moment. That wasn't even Vassal. That was a terrible pass. Yes, Vassal. Wow! Just wow! Under. Can't see Chelsea now getting anything. They've had well, a long time in this game to try and undermine the opposition, but they're the ones that are being Lamptey. undermined still. Puts on an early cross Red there. Intentions. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course that's gonna happen. Loss of concentration. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, man! When you go to ground like that with That was terrible from me, clearly. That was really, really bad. And it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. And does the job with the wow. The Just wow. Group. Leon Bailey. Drives into the box here. Wow. Just wow. Bailey. Going forward well. Oh! oh we, lost, we lost two points. We definitely lost two points in that game. 
to go to a post-match interview. I don't care how many shots they had, but the way the ball was bouncing around for that last goal was just ridiculous though, man. Great performance from Rose. Happy with the draw today. Both teams played well. And what were your thoughts when the pool level? We aim to win every match that. Oh my gosh. Right, so that's the end of the episode. Got four points from the opening two games. And the next episode we've got Aston Villa, Hull in the Carabao Cup, which will most definitely sim, and Newcastle to finish off the month of August. So, till next time.